final day of exams. Mm -hmm. so sleepy. Can you get, can you let me get through my intro first before I, you know, start yawning thanks to you? What's up, Manganites? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time, we started our exam week and got introduced to Dr. Maruki, who says he's gonna help us out as long as we help him out. Seems like a pretty even deal, don't you think? I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Really? Staying up studying? That doesn't sound like Ryuji. Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. That sounds like Ryuji. Dude, you are failing for sure. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nobody's expecting anything of me, so I don't gotta worry about grades. You sure about that? Uh, good morning. God, you too. Yo, look who else is yawning. You're gonna make me yawn. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Fuck you, on. Fuck you. Lady on, you're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. You tell him, Mona. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I mem- huh? Wait, what? Am I imagining things? What's wrong, Mon? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Like hell, it's nothing. Hmm? Out of your eyes. Fine. Come on. Huh? What's the plan, Sakamoto? Don't just run. Hey! Wait for me. Cock blocked, dickwad! Ladies and gentlemen, meet Yusuke Kitagawa. Um. Uh, hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? Uh, not that! Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me! Train. That's because. <laughs> My goodness. I had wondered why you left the car. So this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> you from the car and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you I didn't even notice the calls from sensei but thank goodness I caught up to you okay you're kind of creeping me out Inari what you're the woman I've been searching for all this time please won't you w wait a minute I be the model for my next art piece what Model? You're an artist? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious! Yeah, no shit. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Yep, bit too late there, Inari. Already introduced you. I'm Motorame-sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. 
So that old man in the car must have been Madarana. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? No, the Madarame who killed 19 people and then fled into the ocean. Of course that Madarame! The very same. Do you know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Madarame? Madarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Excuse me? I actually happen to like art. Well then. I hope to see you there tomorrow. Snooty prick. That guy's as easy to read as a book. All he wants is to see you. To... Ugh. You're not planning on going, are you? Please tell me you're gonna decline. I think I will. Are you kidding me? Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. Oh. How dare he go after Lady On? Memorize that face of yours, Yusuke. That rotten Nari. Get away with this. God, do you have to keep bringing me back here? I hate, hate seeing your face. You became acquainted with Madarame's people by chance? Yes. That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. Yeah, bastard. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Keep it quiet. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. The difference is, those people die. Were you related to those as well? <sighs> hmm, I see. Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Let's get back to it. It's over. I think I aced it. It's over. How about you? Oh, I'm feeling way confident. You traitor. Traitor? You're the one who stayed up all night playing games. Kind of ironic considering what I'm doing. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. Oh yeah, Mishima's fan site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. Yeah, we got plenty of time. I know. But why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. We do? I want sushi then. Or domestic raised eel. What the fuck? I get this is Japan, but domestic raised eel? Ugh. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Yeah. And frankly, I like art, but I don't care for his snooty ass. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Oh, please. I doubt anyone could love that Inari. It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. 
Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Memento. True. We did hear about Matarame through that one guy. Matarame, was it? I'm, I can't say I'm not curious. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Hell, I love looking at paintings. Starry Night by Van Gogh happens to be my favorite painting. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. It's not like we're actually stealing art. Look, everyone's going. It's settled then. Well, this is gonna be fun. I just know it. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. A bit too mature for us. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Deal. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady Ong. I'm curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in, Meta in, the, in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not go out right now. So I keep thinking about what Nakanomura said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Marame? Nice catch, on. Well, it's a pretty rare last name. Yeah, I mean, you ever heard of someone else called Marame? It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitakawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitakawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. We probably should look into it. Since we have a big day... Oh no, we can actually do infiltration tools! Okay, I need more lockpicks. I'm starting to run out. Yeah. Let's make some lockpicks and then go to sleep. This should help with my proficiency too. Oh, I didn't get anything new. Damn it. Oh! The sparkles! I ranked up! I now have decent proficiency! All right. This will increase how much stuff we can make. Pretty cool, don't you think? Okay, let's go to bed. Today be the day for art. So crowded. No shit, it's an art exhibit. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? Oh, yeah, and maybe try not to talk so much. You came. Um, yeah. Why wouldn't we? You really came? <laughs> yes, we came, jackass. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. You really see lesser of us, don't you? Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Oh, Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? The, these walls have nothing. Now get down! I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? We need to learn about Matarame. We need to stay. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? I guess any way you hmm? want. There's that old man from the other day. So we continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. That's gotta be Matarame. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Matarame. Who would understand if you saw it? <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something... Matarame-san is actually here? Over there. I'm so glad I came on opening day. 
Oh God, we're being swarmed. Everyone's stepping on my feet. Luna. I'll try. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it to think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece <clears throat> something wrong don't mind me there are better pieces than this one come now this way H hey that piece was more than likely his ah that old lady totally elbowed me <laughs> I think my feet have holes in them. But thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? We got trampled! You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. Oh, really? What does it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. It would also mean that he's putting Yusuke through a lot of trouble. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that Shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. That is true. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I don't know. He seems nice and all, but the way he screamed at Yusuke, you know, he seems a little sus. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? I guess so. Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Oh, yeah. Did he ask you? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. That's perfect! He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. We can go over there and check it out. Let's try going tomorrow. We're up to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. We didn't want you to get your mind out of your profession. Well, 
Okay, let's get started. Hey there, I'm Dr. Margie, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little bit about mental health and perception. Oh, don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just listen and relax. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof it can even heal you depending on your outlook. So, proves it can be. What, me? Yes. What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your, your condition? That's the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yeah, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. No, hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice, go. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Well, I know about the placebo effect. It's actually kind of fascinating. I like dealing with stuff involving cognition. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important to not push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that. So come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe it hard enough? Now that's definitely a placebo. Pan thieves going by train. <laughs> This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Yeah, but we, it's not like we have an actual vehicle. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Um, what pets? Hey, who are you calling a pet? Oh, Morgana! <laughs> Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. You didn't do what? I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Okay, dude, shut up. Oh, kitty. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Uh... You're imagining things, kid. But I see its head popping out of your bag. Isn't that a kitty? It's, um, a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Hey! Meow! Well, Time to button bash! Change that easily. 
let alone their natural temperament. Shujin uh, Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Okay. Is that it? That looks way more mansion-y than a shack. We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? It doesn't look that run down. Come on. Ding dong, bing bong. Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. Oh lord. People really do live here. Oh god, Inari answered the door. Takamaki said. You two are here as well? Hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. Vince? <laughs> Plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That, that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. Yeah, and what I see is a prick. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. You really think that? Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. I wouldn't call this Inari a friend, but sure. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Cranky? You don't seem cranky. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> we weren't the ones making a ruckus. That was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? Sounds beautiful. This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's lovely, but what's with the blue marks? It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me, then. Now I feel bad. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, I only thought we found a new target, too. How's the Meta Nap? Oh, oh. Well, hey, the app. Says that there's. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? Huh! So we weren't wrong! But why? Matarame? Plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? 
These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We just have to figure out what he sees this place as. We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. Like how Kamoshita thought that the school was his own castle. You mean like how Kamoshita thought the school was his castle? Speed it up, Takamaki. I'm already way ahead of you. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain. In jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add barn. Why the hell would you add guidance counselor office? That makes no sense for you, G. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Well, if that's the case, a museum. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? We got it, boys! Let's move! <laughs> well? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me! Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would've figured it out once you started walking on two legs. True. <sighs> I mean, you walk on four legs when you're in our reality. We, we see you walking on two legs when you're in this one. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Get that. Look! <laughs> That's a lot of gold! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? And a big one at that. Let's go check it out. Check it out? Uh, okay. Man. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? That's what it's supposed to be. This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. It might be. We haven't actually been inside yet. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Actually, this is pretty fitting. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If this is a museum, there's probably going to be security. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Uh, do I have to wait in that gigantic line? Mm. Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. There's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find our way up and over it then. In any case, let's get going. We won't be getting going right away though. And I am not returning yet. Nope. <laughs> Well, we've made it. We are now in Monorami's palace. And next time on Persona 5 Royale, we do a little bit of a scouting mission and see what this place is like. See you guys then.